Oh, first look at the quaddy at Goulburn. We're all set. Ready and a racing, missing it out wide. Gambler Bernie, nice your way on the corker bloke in the centre. Gee, they're tight. Serenade was checked with Heckler, and Bright and Peach has got a beautiful run across the lead. Gambler Bernie goes with it though. They're six in front of Kuna Matata. Four away then was Casalio on the corker bloke. Serenade and Hecker is back at the tail with a jib bimbo. They round the corner, and the leader is Bright and Peach is still two in front of Gambler Bernie, and Bright and Peach comes away the beat. Gambler Bernie and Kuna Matata. Serenade got up the run fourth. Then I'm a corker bloke, Casalio, legit bimbo, and last in was Hecker, and they've run the journey in around 26.30. Favourite home, number seven, Bright and Peaches. Gee, they were tight early. There was a real traffic jam. Serenade, Hecker, I'm a corker bloke, Casalio, all put out of play, and Bright and Peaches got the perfect run across out wide the lead, and Gambler Bernie then got the cart across for meeting with the favourite, and they went together into the first corner. And Yambler Bernie has certainly made the favourite work, but she did open up the last 50 Bright and Peach and has come away the win. There's by V-Man Vane, out of Spirited Girl, raced by uh, Denise Sparks, trained by Neil Staines, gives Neil an early double. Number eight second, Yambler Bernie, Mark Arncliffe, and third goes to number one, Kuna Matata. He probably did his best work late, but he uh, really did get off the pace early, as was to be expected, trained by Mick Blizzard. And number two, Serenades, run fourth. The sectionals there are 6.58, 12.13, 26 30 overall certainly not flash on the clock 14 17 was the run home and those margins are three and a quarter by two and a half three and a quarter by two and a half and all those exotic dividends across the board appearing on your screen at the moment so the favorite in there at very short odds brighton uh, peaches she was able to get uh, all the uh, fortunes uh, out wide and that has been able to see her get home. She needed to step up in trip as suited her. And the wide box certainly played a big part in getting home the way that race was run. So 7-8-1-2 after the fifth.